how good it is to be sitting on the couch, chilling after work, and like playing some video games, watching some TV. Well, I travel a lot for work, and I really want to see how I can take my entire home theater setup and access it remotely. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Hey guys, my name is James, I'm the Technical Community Manager here at Parsec, and this is my home theater setup. I've got my Nintendo console, I've got my HDMI receiver, I've got my set-top box, and I've got my HTPC. And I've also got a Harmony Hub over here. And let's not forget the 55-inch 4K TV in front of us. But I don't really always want to be in front of the TV to be able to use all the gear I have. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can remotely access all the equipment on this shelf. Let me show you how I do it. So, I've turned everything off and I'm going to go through all the different bits we need. So, the first piece of the puzzle is the um, PC. So, this is my HTPC and um, I've got a GTX 1050 Ti on it and a Elgato HD60 Pro. And this is just kind of a casual machine I use for a bit of gaming. And I got the Elgato capture card here. This is going to enable me to capture any HDMI signal um, plugged into it. And this is going to enable all this stuff to plug into this box and this is going to be my streamer. So um, I'm going to put that one away and I'll show you the next part. So this here is my HDMI receiver. It's got a couple HDMI ins and one HDMI out. So I can plug in both my Nintendo Switch and uh, my set-top box into this and then one cable goes out to go for my TV and to the uh, HT60 Pro capture card. Um, the way we're going to do this is we're going to use a little HDMI splitter. That takes the output from this receiver and splits it two ways. One to the TV and one to the PC. This runs over IR, so there's no network signal. You can control it. There is like an Android app, but you can't use that over the internet. The next couple are the Logitech Harmony Hub. And what it does is it has a IR blaster in it and some network, like a Wi-Fi chip and stuff. So you can connect it to your home um, media center and you can actually add all your devices to it. The cool thing is you can control it over the internet. So we're going to be using this to control all the IR devices, including the TV set-top box um, that I have here. And of course, the Nintendo Switch. So we've already made a video about this before, where we uh, took the Nintendo Switch, we used our PC, and we enabled a remote play over the internet. There's been a couple updates to that actually. So before we had the Brook adapter and the Titan 1, the Titan 1 team have updated their firmware and it means you no longer need the Brook adapter, um, which is really great because the Brook adapter actually had some lag to it. So this is actually pretty low latency, plugs in, no hassles, and it works great with the new firmware update. You might say, well, why has he got a Nintendo console? It's portable, you can just take it with you. But you could do this with your Xbox too. This is just kind of the console that I've been playing at the moment. All right, so I've turned everything back on and I've got my Nintendo Switch plugged into my HDMI receiver. And that's what you can see on the TV in front of you. And because of some G-Tuner magic, I'm able to control uh, the Nintendo Switch with my Xbox One controller. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually switch to the PC input on my TV. So this is my HD PC, and this is basically gonna be the device that kinda is the hub for all of this communication. And one of the most integral parts of this whole setup is Parsec, and that's our super low latency uh, remote play technology. Basically, this takes your whole entire screen, packages it up, into a video file and sends it across the internet very quickly. And then uh, you reply back with your controls, maybe from work or somewhere on holiday, and it's a really seamless, uh, low latency remote play experience. The next step is to basically open the game capture software from the capture card. And what you see here is basically a duplicate of whatever's coming out of the receiver. And so what I can do is I can pick up my receiver remote, press the home button, and we'll actually get to the main menu of my HDMI receiver. And I can go through and uh, change inputs. I could change my TV if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna go back to the Nintendo Switch on HDMI N2. And I'm gonna open that back up and it kinda glitches out a little bit again, but it'll be back. And I'm gonna show you the next part. So I'm gonna minimize the uh, capture software and I'm gonna show you G-Tuner. And what G-Tuner allows us to do is basically to map an Xbox controller, have that interface with the Nintendo Switch. Okay, so we've basically figured out how we can remotely control the Nintendo Switch and we can see the screen, but the kind of IR signals are a bit of a problem. You know, we can't actually take these remotes with us on holiday uh, because they just wouldn't work. So what we need to use is the Logitech Harmony Hub and that's gonna enable us to control over the internet. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like on my laptop at the office. So I'm going to head over to work and I'm going to show you what it looks like. 
All right, so we're back at the office now and I've got my laptop, my Xbox controller, and my cell phone. That's all we need to make this uh, remote home theater work. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Parsec Connect to my uh, home theater machine back at home. And in a couple seconds, you'll be able to see the desktop of my home theater system. And what we have on the screen here is actually the HDMI receiver um, with Mario Odyssey. So I'm just gonna pick up the Xbox controller and because I've already done all the stuff with uh, G-Tuner and, and the software that comes with the Titan One, I'm able to control it. It's a pretty awesomely low latency experience. You really don't feel like you're playing remotely at all. It almost feels like there's a Nintendo Switch inside your little Dell laptop. But that's not the only thing we can do. We can use the software that comes with the Harmony remote, the Android app here, and I can actually uh, go home on the HDMI receiver and I actually see um, in a second the main menu of the HDMI receiver. And from there I can uh, go and I can change kind of to the another input. I'll go to HDMI 1, which is my set-top box. And in a second you're going to start seeing live TV, my local free-to-air television that I can uh, pick up and I can completely control it. So I can uh, jump over to my set-top box on the Harmony app and uh, I can go to a different channel. And in a second, um, it's gonna load this other channel where I can watch some really trashy TV and have a good time. It does take a couple seconds to buffer, but that's actually part of the, the IPTV system I'm using, not so much Parsec. And I go down again, I can go back to the same channel as on before. And as it loads in, we're back to watching uh, live TV again. All right, so I'm done with TV, I wanna go back to my game. So I just go back to the receiver and uh, go to home. And then the second, I'm back to the main menu as we were before. I can go to HDMI 2, which is where my Nintendo Switch was. And pick up the controller. And I'm back to playing games. So you can kind of see it's a really seamless experience to be able to kind of live access your entire home theater system. So anything that's plugged into your HDMI receiver and then plugged into the HD60 Pro on your PC would be able to come through here. So this is a fun project that took some of the stuff we learned before with the Nintendo Switch video and blended it together with IR over the internet using the Harmony Hub. If you'd like to see some detailed instructions about what we did here today, I've left a link in the video description below going through step by step. And if you'd like to download our free app Parsec, head to our website parsecgaming.com where you can use it, install it on your Windows machine and play your games remotely over the internet. And if you'd like to support more content like this, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll really help us keep pushing the boundaries of streaming technology. And until next time, peace out.